What's up everybody, Derek here, and today I am down on the creek to show you one of the spots that I always look for whenever I'm studying a map and trying to find a good spot on a creek like this that's behind me. And that's a spillway or some kind of current that's coming in. This just happens to be, this is gonna sound nasty, a wastewater treatment plant that is pumping water back in. So it's, I call it poop water. But whenever it's cooler times of the year and you're trying to find that warmer water and those active fish, this is kind of one of those spots where those fish are going to be really active and they're going to be a month or two ahead of other fish in just regular creeks and rivers in other places. So anyways, we're going to come out here. I got a beetle spin and we're going to see what we can catch. I got a grub also, so we'll see what happens. So let's get fishing. All right, this is a 1 8 ounce beetle spin. So I'm gonna toss out here on the edges of this current right out in front of me and see if anything will bite. I have a good feeling there's a lot of panfish and a lot of bass out here. All right, I'm gonna cast right over here alongside this tree and see what happens. That's how it's done right there. I didn't even start spinning it yet. I just let it flutter on the way down. That thing hammered it. That is a red breast, looks like. That one, I just slow rolled it. Slow, slow rolled it. These are some pretty fish. All right, I switched over to a little wax worm. A lot of times it seems like these get mistaken for a little minnow. So I'm just gonna throw this out here and basically do nothing and see what happens. First one, take a cast of this little thing. Just basically threw it out there and let it drop.
That's a good red breast right there. And that's why I look for spots like these. Anytime you got current and you've got an eddy or some kind of huge current, where especially if it's deeper and it's going shallow to deeper, and you've got current, those fish are going to be setting up right along the edges so they can ambush bait or just basically kind of suspend or hang out in those locations. Here. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Let's see, red ear. Red ear, right there. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I just wanted to come out here and show you a couple places on what I mainly look for when I go to the creek, which is spots like that, just like that. If you can replicate that, perfect. If it's a natural creek with current, that's a lot of times I'll look for too because those fish are going to be near those current where it's going shallow and going out or where it's going from shallow to deep. Anywhere where there's current, those fish a lot of the times are gonna be in those areas. But let me know what you guys think in the comments and thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.